All right, guys, we got a simple tool here from IWISS. I W I S S. This is their SNTG 16. This is their SNTG 16 front loading end sleeve crimper self adjusting ferrule crimping tool for number 6 to 24 gauge. I don't have any number 6 ferrules, but I do have a little assortment here. So I uh, will give it a whirl. Ferrules is something I want to be always doing and find myself not doing as often as I should. And see here I use my old fashioned clines with the thumb trick. Strip them like that. Where's our 18 gauge? Right there. Slide them in, squeeze them, beautiful, look at that. Now I'm just eyeballing the strip here. Let's see. Single space, put him in there, slip them in the end, nice and easy. Yeah, wonderful. Feels pretty, pretty heavy duty. It has this uh, adjustment on here to tighten down and loosen. Let's try that. See what that does. That's a two space. We'll get a single. Throw one on there. So this is with it. Tightened up. Throw it in there. Oh yeah, way tighter. Okay, it's a little too tight. Let's try to spin it back the other way. Nice. And then I got some itty bitty terminal blocks here. It's a good example of where having ferrules is really nice because um, if you're just stripping all willy nilly, you know, you put them in there and sometimes you get real unlucky and you get like a strand like that or something all over the place you know personally i just pre-twist but still having the ferrule makes it kind of uh, uniform so you can just throw it in like so take your take your tiny tweaker screw that down the old tug test Good to go. So if we loosen it off again. It almost feels like it's just two different settings. But yeah, put them in there on the end, squeeze them. And yeah, that's very tight. Let's get some number 12. Try that. Some 12. Big ones. Put him in there. And you can see by turning that wheel, you can change the starting size. So I'm going to open that up kind of big for this number 12. Oh, yeah. Gives it that nice square shape. Feels nice and tight. And then for my little meter contactor here, I don't have to worry about the strands 
fitting, or do I? There we go. Get him in there. Let's try up here on the power ones. I can just slide them in like that. And that is a nice connection with the ferrule on there. So now, this is nice and all, but I want to put ferrules on here, and I don't like how every time I'm stripping these things, I don't really have anything to gauge off of for how much I'm stripping. So, these guys at iWIS also sent me. I got the iCrimp ICP338. So it also cuts, strips. And then it also crimps. We got these insole right there. Pretty good. Nice. See how it does on number 12. So I got <coughs> there's my strip gauge right there. Black line. Just move that to match it. Stick my number 12 in there. Pretty good. Pretty good. And then uh, loosen that screw. Oh yeah, look at that perfect fit. Yeah, I like the automatic. Automaticness. I suppose I still have to pull off that tail. Maybe if I'm stripping just a little less. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And that's versus the way I currently do it, is I cut and use my thumb. And I can, some days if I'm doing a lot of stripping, I can definitely feel that on my thumb. So having this is definitely going to be a game changer. To, uh, automatically do it, especially if I got a lot of things to terminate. Pop that off. Pop there. Just like that. I like it. Well, this one's about twenty bucks. And the TG-16 is about 30 for your ferrules. Otherwise, pretty good. Um, yeah, working in a control panel all day with tiny wires, this thing would be really helpful. And what it also do is help you get every single strip exactly the same. I guess we could test that out real quick. That'd be pretty easy. Let's just do maybe six. Six strips. And then see if they're all uh, identical. So if I want to go into this 
tiny terminal block here. Or really what we'd do is we would get a bunch of these little frills. So we want to set up set up our guide, which is this clear plastic part. Set that up to about there. Maybe in just a little bit. Yeah, we want it just a little bit longer than normal. Okay, and then let's see if it strips them all identically. That is about as swift as it goes. Yeah, I am impressed with that. Just the speed, the speed at which it does it and just how uniform they all are. That's really nice. Just all the same. And then now that I got them all cut the same, just throwing these ferrules on should just be as simple as sliding them down. And in fact, what I can do, I can do them one at a time, like that, or I can load them all up. send it. Yeah, I'm impressed. That works good. So yeah, for the longest time, this is what I've always used. It's just a Klein stripper and crimper on this side. And uh, just the old thumb technique. You know, put it in there, push with the thumb. Put it in there and push with the thumb. That's how I've done it for years and years. I've seen these, but I've never tried them, but I am really impressed with just how uh, just how smooth how smooth the action is and how uh, consistent the uh, strip is every single time. That is nice. And just one motion versus two. So I definitely know that would be really easy on my hands as the day drags on. So yeah, I like it. Pretty cool. I'm glad, uh, glad I got it and I'm looking forward to giving it a try in the bag. And just uh, thanks to ICP, or thanks to IWIS, how do you pronounce it? IWISS sent me this for free. Asked me to do a little demo of it and yeah, I'm happy with that. I like it. I'll let you guys know how it lasts over time. But uh, so far in the field and here in the shop, it's worked great. And then, yeah, this feral crimper, I'm really happy with him. He's real straightforward, real easy to use. I like how I can adjust it for larger or smaller, just on the fly there. And uh, yeah, it seems to make really good, really good crimps there on the ferrules. That nice square finish looks real nice. And uh, yeah, just fast. That's what I like. Doesn't take long at all to do. Real quick and easy, and uh, not really much more to it. So yeah, I think out with the old, and uh, in with the new. And I'm excited to uh, start using ferrules again for uh, control terminations in the field. So I'm going to bag up a bunch of these and put these in my tool bag, and I think I'm just going to retire these guys now. Alright guys, see you on the next one.